Now, crews are in the 1,000 block of Manhattan Avenue off of Salem Avenue, and that's where we have stationed our Jordan Burgess with the breaking details for us. Jordan? Well, right now, police are still out here investigating what can only be described as a shocking crime. Get this, a guy leaves his house for a few minutes right here on Manhattan to pay a bill. His girlfriend and two kids are inside when three robbers burst in, and then when he comes back minutes later, they shoot him. Now, police tell us that they trace those three robbers to a house on Harvard about a block away, but when they searched that area, they couldn't find anybody. Now, the victim was driven to a local hospital from his home here on Manhattan, and at this hour, we're told he's in fair condition. Now, police say the man had left to pay the electric bill. He was going to be back soon, so the front door was left open, but shortly after he left, three robbers burst inside. One had a gun. Now, that man apparently had dreadlocks and a goatee. The others had masks on. Now, the woman, that man's girlfriend, was home with a three and a four year old. She said she didn't have any money when those robbers came in, so they started taking TVs. And shortly after that is when her boyfriend came back, and as he tried to push the door open, the robbers reached around it and shot him in the back. As soon as he uh, was walking up, she realized he was there. She's like, please don't shoot my baby's daddy. Please don't shoot my baby's daddy. Uh, the suspect then says, oh, we're going to shoot him. Scary. It's getting closer and closer to my home. And I don't know what we can do about it. It's just, it's, it's sad to say, but it's the sign of the times. Certainly a terrible situation out here. And again, police trying to figure out what might have been the motivation behind this robbery. They tell us they don't think it had anything to do with drugs. They say it may have just been a spur of the moment thing, or maybe somebody in the neighborhood had heard something, that perhaps there was a stash of cash in that house. And of course, we'll try to bring you the latest on this shooting turned robbery in a little bit later on here at noon and also tonight starting at 5. But for now, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.